What's going on everybody? Welcome to G Myers World and what I'm about to show you right now is how to unlock that new Gauntlet Elite Ezekiel Ansa. Now you're gonna need Gauntlet trophies, I mean Gauntlet collectibles. I have enough to get them. I got seven of them right there, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know if I want them because he's only at 82 speed and he's not really better than um, the Miles Garrett that I have right now. I had the rookie premiere and he became a team leader so he's at 86 overall with ridiculous stats. Um, you're gonna find this under your um, item sets. Uh, under obviously gauntlet right so what happens is you're gonna have to put in six of the gauntlet trophies that you've possibly earned already all right now you can see that I still have the gauntlet trophies but they're still in the actual packs because I don't open them because I don't need to have them in my actual item binder unless I'm gonna use them all right so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna explain to you the way that I got my gauntlet trophies and why I haven't used them on specific players like Terrell Suggs, I got him because at the time I needed to upgrade my team to an 85 overall. If you're looking in the top right of my um, of my team overall right there, you see the 74. I'm currently completing the team leader set for the Giants. So um, as far as that goes, I've had tutorials about how to you know set your lineup for that right there. That's why you can see on the right side, the New York Giants, I'm at like a tier 3. I need two more for the tier 4. Uh, you have to have tier 4 in order to complete all 16 solos for the team leader. So that's why I have that 74 overall right there. All right. Um, pretty much what I was just uh, getting at for the reasoning behind why I'm not going to complete that set for Zika Ansa right now is because I don't need them. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. Pretty much with my uh, Miles Garrett that I have, he, he's an outright monster and a beast. And just he's just ridiculous. So I don't really need like everything that he has, his strength, his speed. You know, Ansa is a decent card, but I think pretty much at 82 speed, and he probably has a different, you know, a higher finesse move or something like that. But this card right here is outrageous. And when I say outrageous, man, this dude just gets in the backfield like it's nobody's business, man. So I'm not really worried about that. This video was pretty much to show you guys how you get gauntlet tokens, how you do what you're supposed to do. Um, in order to achieve that Ezekiel answer if you're looking to upgrade your team overall. Currently, when I'm not doing these uh, team leader solos, um, I'm an 85 overall. But let's go to the gauntlet. All right, so this right here, if you would have already completed these, this is when the game launched. You would have gotten three, uh, three gauntlet uh, collectibles, right? Throughout the weeks, the gauntlet unleashed, this is the best way to gain two, what is it? You get one, two, you get three of them a week if you do this, all right? Because with the gauntlet unleashed, you get um, you get one from doing the original premium qualifier. This week's thing is what? What is this? The South, the NFC South, or something like that? Yeah, because you got uh, Tampa Bay and all of them. Yeah. Okay, so you got Tampa Bay, Atlanta, and all those boys. So this is the NFC South. What you do is for the premium qualifier, you have to set your lineup with these four teams, three players from each team. That gives you tier one for each team, and then you would be able to unlock this Monday through Thursday, and then for Friday through Sunday, you have what's called the playoff with the same lineup. You would play and get another gauntlet trophy from this, these four solos, and from this seven, you get one also. So that's two. And then for the open championship, for the open qualifier on the weekend, you get another one. So that's three gauntlet trophy uh, tokens a week. All right. So that's how I've been able to accumulate the ones that I have now and also uh, complete the, uh, the other gauntlet champions that you saw that I already have. So pretty much with all the other information you're going to need about it, I have videos here showing you how to set your lineup for Gauntlet Unleashed. I make it very, very simple. Um, all you got to do is look for it, man. It's right there. Search it. Uh, NG Myers World. It'll, it'll pop up for the um, how to set your lineup for the Gauntlet Unleashed solos, and it'll help you get to that. Obviously, with this right here, you see that I got Zach Ertz. I got Stephon Gilmore. I skipped Rivers, and I skipped Adrian Peterson. I got Terrell Suggs, and I have enough right now to get Ezekiel Ansah, but I don't, I don't think he's better than Miles Garrett at the same position, so I'm not going to get him right now. When I have an abundance of, you know, gauntlet trophies and stuff like that, and I can put it in the sets, whatever, but I just have a feeling that they're going to give a decent player pretty soon, so I don't want to go ahead and open up, you know, my, my gauntlet trophies right now and do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and leave it there, but if you guys are going to do it, let me know how it goes for you. Let me know if you like him as a player, and maybe I will do it just to put, you know, give you guys some gameplay with him, and we'll go from there. Thank you for watching. Definitely subscribe. Definitely share. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.